December 14th. It's about 3.30, so it's almost evening-ish. <laughs> um, woke up this morning, I was feeling pretty good, and then I went to go get out of bed and my body was like, haha, you thought. So, laid in bed for a little bit more, fell back asleep. Got up, took a shower, took meds, all that good stuff. Um, went and dropped off some yarn at a neighbor's house. She ordered some yarn and I got a pattern in return as well. It was great. Um, and then had to run into town, do some quick errands. And now I am just sitting down to edit the vlog for the past couple days. Um, got caught up on my blanket last night. That was amazing. Um, haven't started the socks yet. We will be house sitting for a neighbor slash friend this weekend, just for Saturday. Um, I think it's like Saturday and part of Sunday. So I'm gonna keep opening the socks, but I will probably work on those while we're house sitting because it's just gonna be chilling, hanging out. Um, so I'll do that. I'm gonna try to keep on top of the blanket. Uh, just because that was a lot to try to get caught up again. Um, after I get, so I'm going to start editing the vlog now. And then after that, I will, like when it's saving and uploading to YouTube, I'm going to package up orders for the December Club. The December Club yarn turned out so good. I think it's my favorite of the whole year. Maybe. The stripes are definitely up there. Like, I love the stripes so much. The tonal, or the variegated is really pretty too um but yeah i'm gonna get those packaged up tonight drop them off at the post office tomorrow oh what else we got going on today i uh, still not feeling great but we're going with it and then i think that's pretty much it i haven't been doing much of anything the past couple of days which is fine like sometimes you just need to take those breaks and it's okay to rest and like resting is productive and I struggle with that all of the time because I always try to like be more productive while resting even though rest itself is productive it's a hard thing to learn um but yeah I think I'm just gonna be editing video and then we'll see how that's all gonna mash together I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it yet but yeah we'll do that and then probably package up orders and then open oh, day 14 of the Teal Torch and its countdown and then get that in the blanket keep keep that caught up and then I don't know where after that I don't know what I'm doing today I don't know life is hard not really but it's hard it's overwhelming especially when you're not feeling well so probably gonna go get a little cardigan sweater thing I'm cold right now Anyways, now I'm just rambling, um, so let's just get this video edited, and then I'll check back in later, so.
Hello everybody, Kim from the future here. Um, I was just editing today's vlog and I never, like I just realized I never showed you guys the finished cake skein holder thing and the pattern drop today. So I feel like I should definitely show you this. Um, this is it finished. Oh, like you said, you guys saw me make it. It was super easy. Uh, this is just extras yarn but it's bright so I'm gonna stick it in here it's not quite 100 grams so it'll be a little bit on the smaller side but I just wanted to show you like that fits in there really well so like I said it's not 100 grams so it's a little kitty wampus as far as fitting in there but like look at the decreases on the bottom So cute and then this lace look how fun that is but yes this pattern is live now I'll link it down below it will be a Ravelry link um, so if Ravelry isn't accessible to you probably send Erica a message on Instagram or email and just be like, hey, I really want this pattern, but I can't get to it on Ravelry. I'm sure she would be more than happy to help you out. And it's called... Where'd that page go? It's called Frosting with Sprinkles. Look how cute it is. I say it worked up really well. Like I said, this cake is a little bit smaller, so it doesn't fit as well in there but it has like a little hat beautiful lace work really easy repeat started to memorize it towards the end it was awesome and there's the bottom decrease to the center absolutely beautiful but yes so if you are in the market for a yarn cake cozy sleeve i never know what to call these things um, go check out Erica's pattern. I said it will be linked down below. Um, for me it was perfect for like getting that lace itch taken care of and now I have something to store my coats, my yarn balls in. So, or yarn cakes, whatever you want to call them. But yes, so make sure you go check out her pattern. Go follow her on Instagram. She's amazing. She's a wonderful human being. Um, but yes, this pattern is out now. Go check it out. Thanks. <laughs>